I want American families to understand what this legislation will mean for them. Four simple things to, put in, to keep in mind. And I'm borrowing Senator Stabenow's chart for this. It will lower costs for Americans. It will cut taxes for American families. It will create millions of jobs while tackling the climate crisis. And it will pay, be paid for by wealthy paying their fair share. These are four goals. The American people support every one of them overwhelmingly. And in all phases, we will concentrate on communities that have been too often neglected, including communities of color and Native Americans, by making education, child care, health care, and housing more affordable. We can give tens of millions of families a leg up by making sure that we can get our children out of poverty, and I thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership on that issue. We can provide ladders to families that haven't had them before and help them climb into the middle class. Many of the policies we're proposing were in President Biden's American Jobs and Family Plan, but some go beyond, like expanding Medicare to cover dental, vision, and hearing benefits something that was left out of Medicare to be at the beginning and never should have been, and we can rectify it now. By cutting taxes for tens of millions of American families, we can expand opportunity and make it easier for parents to pass on a better life to their children and their grandchildren. By making further investments in infrastructure, we can create tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of good-paying jobs. And by finally tackling climate change, we can spare our country and our planet the most devastating effects of global warming. Just this morning, a major new report from climate scientists at the United Nations concluded that the nations of the world have only a small window to, quote, prevent the most harrowing future. Prevent the most harrowing future, in the words of the New York Times. Without immediate and bold action, we are staring down ever-worsening floods and heat waves, droughts and sea level rise. The future of our planet looks bleak until we do something right now. And the budget reconciliation bill will do more to combat climate change than any legislation ever, ever in the history of the Senate. That is a promise. And while my Republican colleagues regurgitate the same tired talking points about a democratic spending spree, let me remind America that we plan to pay for this package by making the wealthy pay their fair share. When our Republican friends held the majority in this chamber, <clears throat> they chose to use the same process Democrats are using now, budget reconciliation, to give corporations and the wealthy a massive tax break. <clears throat> at a time of egregious income inequality. The former Republican majority rammed through a bill where 83% of the benefits went to the top 1%. 83% of the benefits. I have nothing against the wealthy. God bless them. They're doing fine already. But it's time to cut taxes for American families, middle-class families, not multi multinational corporations to make our tax code more progressive and more fair. That is what Democrats are going to do. Under this plan, there will be no tax increases on small business or American families making under $400,000. We're going to help small businesses create many, many, many jobs. We're going to give American families a fair shot. We're going to Tell middle class families, we're going to make it easier for you to stay there with your increasing costs of things like child care and school, college, and so much else. We're going to tell poorer families, you're going to make it easier for you to climb into the middle class with things like the child tax credit and better health care and so much more. And we're going to confront the generational challenge of climate change head on. We're not flinching. We're not wincing. We're going right at it. And as bad as COVID was this year, and it was horrible, five or 10 years from now, every year, the climate, the, uh, climate change 
will make things worse and worse and worse, even worse than it was this year in COVID. Because when climate changes, it's such an overwhelming force that unless we do something now, we may not be able to stop it down the road.